morning everyone I'm heading into London today and normally like living outside of London I love like it just doesn't it's fine and like my travel into London is usually fine and my main train like into Houston is only like 20 to 25 minutes I knew the exact train time I wanted to get anyway but in the morning whoop, in the mornings I just like check to make sure it hasn't been cancelled because sometimes they do do that and it had and there's no way that I could make the one before and the one after I was gonna be late and I can't be late I've got a meeting at nine o'clock um, it was one of those moments where I really needed to hurry up and get ready but I also needed to like research some different routes so you know you're trying to do your makeup and like look at the routes you kind of found another route so I'm just like praying and hoping that that's gonna work hello so it's been a few hours after I spoke to you in the car had an absolute disaster getting in um, a train was cancelled and then the trainer wanted to get they changed the platform at like the last second and I just didn't make it over the bridge Oh, it was just a disaster and I was late for my first meeting and I hate being late and I was running and I was sweating and blah. Anyway, I'm on my second appointment now and I'm in the H&M showroom. Um, I've come in to pick up a few new pieces and to show you guys like what is new. Can you see all the sparkle? And there's more sparkle around here. I'm not normally a pink girl, but how unreal is this pink dress? It's the bow for me. I really hope that they do this in like a if they did this in like a goldy, like not super gold, but like a light, like a champagne gold, that would just be perfect. Look how gorgeous that is. So I'm gonna pick out a few little bits and try some bits on. This is all so nice. Um, but to be honest, this corner over here, the neutrals has already caught my eye. Um, let's have a little look. Also, sorry, I'm like a kid in a candy store. How nice is this coat? That's such a gorgeous fabric. Anyway, over here into to my area, oh, lots of knitted pieces. Oh my god, this is a little crinkly shirt. This is a bit of me, but I feel like this is quite summery. Like I'm not sure. Like I love these, but I feel like there's more holiday vibes than winter. Little white trench and some sagey corduroys. Looks like sage is going to be one of H&M's favourite colours this winter. Over here, we've got some more pops of reds with some neutrals. Ooh, these trousers are nice. Like a satin trouser, that's really nice. Um, if you don't want to go sequins, a nice little satin number is nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Satin wrap dress. This would be really nice with like over the knee boots. I feel like that'd be such a nice kind of party outfit. I've shown you in here before, but it's so nice. It always just like, I just want my house like this. I look at all the gorgeous little tables and chairs. This is all from um, H&M Home. And also, how gorgeous is it in here? This is my outfit for today. I've got a trench coat um, over the top as well. So I'll show you the pieces that I've picked to try on. So, oversized black blazer. Just can't go wrong, I just love H&M blazers. And then I picked out these really nice uh, black trousers, but they've got like a kind of animal print in there. I thought like this outfit with a little cami underneath some heels would be a nice kind of party outfit um this pink outfit is like super rogue for me but i thought how cool is that like these trousers are stunning with this like little pink knit over really nice little tonal look then i picked up that cream satin dress but this is a size extra small and i don't think that's going to fit so hello everyone it's a little bit less chaotic now anyway i'm back home now and i'm gonna take my makeup off so as i was saying earlier had quite the nightmare getting into london i was running i was hot and sweaty and it was busy i hate being late it's one of my worst um like traits as i hate late people i hate being late myself and I was going to be nice and early if I'd have got the train I wanted to get. Anyway, I think that was making me panic even more. And then, the, and even getting home, I was like running for the train. It's just been like my little legs are absolutely killing me. All the walking and running I've done today. Whenever I get home from being in London, oh, I'd love to get that makeup off. And, and I've got another filming day at home tomorrow so i just want to get everything out ready for that and get everything steamed so in the morning it is all ready to go very yellow in here it's the lights but i have organized my rail for tomorrow so i'm going to be filming five ways to wear black faux leather trousers because i feel like this time of year these are something i wear so much in my wardrobe so i thought i'd put together five different outfits to show how you can style them up differently so like i've done like a mix of like t-shirts trench we've got 
um, knits and shirts, like kind of I've tried to like cover lots of different bases. And here's all the shoes, trainers, Uggs, pumps, loafers, black boots. I'm going away with phase eight tomorrow. I'll show you more of the pieces tomorrow. Um, but for our dinner, I've got this gorgeous like gold, it's like gold shimmery, but it's not over the top, is it? I feel like it's so gorgeous, this suit, so blazer and trousers. But the trousers are a little bit long. Um, they're just not like a flattering length on me. So I'm actually just going to quickly take them up with the hemming web. And I have shown this before, but um, I thought I would just re-show how I do it because it's so quick and easy. So these are the trousers. But do you know what I mean about the length? They're just at, like an awkward length. I am going to be wearing heels, but like the style of the trouser, I just want them cropped. Um, so I'm just going to pin them to the length that I want them. Okay, I've just had a play around with the length and I've put on the shoe that's... I am going to wear with them and I th okay I'm happy with that length I think that that works so I just use these little hair clips that I've got but you you can use any kind of pins okay so first of all you'll want to turn the trousers inside out and on the other leg you'll want to roll that up and match the amount you have just taken up on the other leg so now it's time for the bonding web I bought mine from Amazon I'll leave it linked below it's really cheap and you want to cut strips the width of the trouser. And because we're turning up quite a lot of fabric here, I'm doing two just to make it more secure. Once you've cut your strips, you want to just tuck them into the cuff and make sure they are nice and flat. Now grab your iron or steamer and really give that a good press. Once you have done the other side of the leg, move on to the other leg. Once you have got the hang of this, this will honestly save your life. I do this so often now. And yeah, it's just an amazing little trick you can do at home. So I've just arrived to the Cotswolds, um, this is the Minced Mill Hotel and I'm earlier than everyone else because they got the train and I've driven um, but I need to get ready so I've um, just come to check into my room a little bit earlier and it's so nice, it's so spacious and that bed is huge, like I think that our bed at home is massive but that is ginormous it's so nice. I love this little area around here. I'm absolutely starving. And um, I found a biscuit in one of the cupboards. So I've opened that straight away. I've been driving around, like sorting errands out and like doing all sorts this morning. Hence, I'm not ready. So um, I'm glad I'm a bit early. I've actually got about half an hour, I think, before everyone arrives. And I'm just going to quickly slap some makeup on, refresh, get changed. Um, well, actually, this is my phase eight jumper already, um, but I just traveled in leggings and trainers. Completely forgot to show you the bathroom and it's so nice. Look at the light. A nice big bath. That is a, a massive bath. Lovely double sink over here. Oh my God, a robe. I love a hotel robe. Love this little toilet in there, shower. I'd actually love to have a bath tonight. I've done a quick hair and makeup. Hair does really need washing, but I'm just like dry shampooing it like loads and it is okay so my jumper is from phase eight it's so nice i love this black high neck with the camel stripes it is so soft and comfy then i've got it on with some black leather shorts and then these um knee-high boots but let me just prop you up on here a second i just want to show you these boots i normally have struggles with knee-high boots if they're a full zip like i just can't seem to do the zip up like they just it gets like stuck here like i didn't think i had overly big calves but i just can't seem to get them on but these fit so nicely and they are so soft the coat i actually left in the car so i need to go and grab that on my lips i'm going to top this up i've got the hourglass the volumizing glossy balm remember i showed it in a couple of vlogs back when i film like i get really out of breath and i think it's because i talk so much and i'm like <laughs> Just take a breather. Anyway, Georgia has just got here. And um, you know, life in the fashion lane. We've been friends for like years. Um, so and I haven't seen her for a little while, so it's so nice to catch up with her. The fragrance I'm gonna go with this. It's the Armani Privé Pivioni Chujou. Do you know what? I've actually had this for five years, actually, and I just rediscovered it like I was sorting out my perfumes the other day. Whoops. I remember going to every single shop in New York trying to find that fragrance and it was just out of stock everywhere and I remember finding it in Bergdorf Goodman on Fifth Avenue um, and so whenever I wear it now it just really really reminds me of New York. So I'm going to pop this on, this is quite a nice and uh, like fresh one. <laughs>
my room after the afternoon tea. We've got a couple of hours to chill before dinner. I have got some emails to do and I need to finish editing a YouTube video. I'm gonna get that done now and then I would really like to, if I have time, have a nice relaxing bath and then get ready. Um, but they've kindly put some bits in our room for us. Um, and I've never heard of these before, Rococo chocolates. And oh my God, this looks absolutely delicious. But these really made me laugh and I wanted to show you. It's, I bought it in here because the lighting's a bit better. But these are Praline new potatoes. How funny, because they actually, <laughs> look at them. They look like little new potatoes, but they are chocolate. And there are some Loxetan products as well, but I've kind of unpacked those already because I'm going to use them now. This is a bath foam, which I'm gonna pop in the bath. And then this, if you have dry skin, um, you need this. This is so nice. It's a shower oil. Um, it's just so moisturizing and just makes your skin feel so, so soft. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I have used this before, but not for a while. The milk, um, the almond milk body lotion. It's just so, well, it's not a lotion. It's This is more, like a thick cream so delicious so i've left those out to have a little pamper with i'm just getting ready for dinner and i've got a new mascara and i used it the, this morning and it was really good actually it's the new l'oreal one and it's called pro xxl lift you know l'oreal mascaras are so good i used to use them all the time and they i really think that they're like some of the best mascaras um so i like that you get the double layer like the primer and then and also I found it didn't smudge uh, and now this is the second the second coat oh my god like it really makes your lashes look super volumized why is it so hard to talk and do mascara look at those lashes like what the hell like they actually don't look real but they are my lashes by the way, I can't remember if I told you, I think I said that I had my brows done, um, but can you see just under here? My skin is really sensitive and sometimes it just, I've been using a retinol and I don't know if that has like, because um, obviously it makes the skin thin and it's just like I've had a bit of soreness under here. I don't know if it was the waxing or the, the lamination, but my skin is just, is very sensitive. One day I'll be fine with the product and the next not okay with the product. Um, let's have a little look. On this camera, it's making my face look like all one colour, but in this mirror, it's not. But I'm just going to pop a little bit more of this on. I love this so much from Pearl Beauty, and it's uh, like a blush stick. Just adds a nice little bit of colour in your cheeks. And I'm, out, I'm also going to use my favourite pillow talk. The, um, what's it called? can't remember what it's called, but you know what it is. I'll leave it linked below. Just dab a little bit on my cheeks. This brush just to blend that in. Final thing for makeup is setting spray. I cannot go out. Like if I've got makeup on, I can't finish my makeup without putting this on. And if I leave the house without setting spray on, I get really annoyed at myself. I'm literally just come into the last of this. So I'm gonna try a new one after. There isn't a full length mirror in my room. Um, so it's really hard to show you my outfit. Hopefully one of the other girls can do a little bit of filming for me tonight. But look at this suit. Oh my gosh, it's like this gorgeous gold shimmer. But it's like not too much. It's not like gold glitter. It's just like this really gorgeous shimmer. And then tailored trousers as well. And these are the trousers that I took up yesterday. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning and I'm in bed. <laughs> Me and Bertie have this little ritual now on a Sunday morning. By the way, like I haven't done anything to anything. Um, because Tom goes and plays football on a Sunday morning. So when he leaves at about like half eight, me and Bertie come back to bed with a cup of tea. Bertie goes back to sleep on the bed. I bring my laptop up and I've had such a productive, what's the time? Oh, it's nearly 10, but I've had like such a productive hour and a half just getting on top of everything because obviously I was away with phase eight um, Thursday and Friday and I didn't like have a chance to get on top of my emails and just kind of everything else. So Friday when I got home, 
I had quite a good catch up session and then I've just like finished everything off now because my family are coming over today for a roast. I'm hosting a roast. So now I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna crack on with that. They're not coming till 1.30 to eat for two. Um, eat at two, sorry. But I just want to like get all the vegetables peeled um, and just like prep and get ahead, lay the table. Okay, I've got all my veggies out that need cutting and peeling. Like, is this enough? Is this enough for six people? I think it is. I think it's actually plenty. Up top here, I'm gonna pop something on Netflix to watch while I am chopping and peeling. Right, I'm getting there. Everything is peeled and chopped. I might like to roast my carrots, but I pre-boil them for a little bit first. But I'm just getting those done ahead of time because they can just steam dry in the colander and I'll pop the parsnips in in a minute. What else have we got on the go? Oh, I've just made two crumbles. Crumbles are in the fridge. These two little ones are gluten free and then normal crumble in there. We've got broccoli, swede, carrots, parsnips, loads of potatoes. So everything's kind of just like ready now to go on um it's just a bit of a waiting game now i'm gonna have a kitchen tidy up because i don't usually tidy as i go i feel like with the roast you kind of have to tidy as you go otherwise you get in a big mess i need to like put the washing away and i am ready now and i haven't done all of my hair like i just wanted to blow dry the front um, and i saw this thing on tiktok the other day and i thought i've actually got that product but i've never used it so i just damped like the front fringy bits and then i sprayed this it's by color wow their products are so good it's called raise the root and basically i've just been feeling it with my fringe at the minute it's just a bit like when i blow dry it, it goes nice and big like this but it just flops out it's just really like floppy and soft rather than this gives it a bit of grit and hold and look at it like it just feels like super voluminous and mouncy anyway it is time to lay the table <laughs> It's very cold, it's tipping down with rain, and I feel like it's a very just cold British morning. And I'm very British for moaning about the weather. Anyway, I have done a quick bit of makeup today, and it's everything that I've got on my face today is from Beauty Pie. I absolutely love Beauty Pie. Such good products, it's a genius concept. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm gonna pop in the little video here because I am working with them on Instagram. Um, and I just really like a nice light, like natural makeup, like something I can do in literally like three minutes. Anyway, so I will leave the video here of me doing that. I'll leave all the links down below and there is a discount code and details below. So I'll leave everything linked below. But I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye.